Okay, so thank you so much for joining us tonight, you guys, on our immeasurably more, that's a mouthful, immeasurably more team call, <laughs> August 25th. And I cannot wait for you guys to hear from some of these smoking hot leaders um, that we have on the call tonight. Um, I'm going to introduce just some of my leaders and people that um, have come into the business with me. Um, and then they're going to also introduce one of their leaders and somebody that's moving and shaking on their team tonight. I can't wait for you guys just to hear some tips of what's going on because you're going to hear from people tonight of all different ranks in the business but you're going to hear from people who are working their business actively. And that is what I want you to hear from this call tonight. I want all of us, and I am ready to take notes myself, but I want all of us to come away um, with just some handles and some tips and some, something that's going to impact our business um, that we are going to change, even if it's just one thing, um, you know, starting tonight, starting tomorrow morning with our business. And we set out to do that to-do list for tomorrow morning, um, wanting to make sure that um, – sorry, guys, people are still having trouble getting on the call um, – wanting to make sure that we have something that's going to impact and going to change for all of us. So I'm really excited um, about this call, and I want to introduce first my friend Tara Storjahan. Tara, are you there? I am here. I love it. Oh, <laughs> so you guys, if you are newer in the business and you have not um, had a chance, first of all, to know who we are, my name is Mary Beth Dodd. <laughs> I'm a triple diamond with It Works. I've been with the company for uh, about three and a half years, and Tara is my very first distributor that came into the business, good friend of mine, um, somebody that I invited to a party because I really wanted her to be there and I wanted her opinion on the products because she is a professor and a pharmacist and I really wanted to know what she thought. But I also, after I invited her, was like, oh my goodness, I just invited a total like ingredient expert to my party and what's going to happen next? And then I went to put a wrap on her and she already had a six pack and I'm like, what am I thinking? But Tara came <laughs> Tara came into my business um, right from the beginning, and we've worked our businesses together. Tara's a double diamond with It Works um, out of Phoenix, Arizona. And Tara, I'm so glad you could jump on the call tonight. Oh, I am so glad to be here. I, you know, um, I've been in the business as long as Mary Beth, so three and a half years, and um, my business kind of skyrocketed. So I think it was January of 2012 when I signed um, towards the end, and. Never in my wildest dreams, not in my wildest dreams would I have ever guessed that it would turn into what it has. Um, and it's just amazing, and it's because these products are amazing, and these products work, and um, I'm just so fortunate and blessed because I had no idea what I was doing, but yet I signed with an amazing leader, Mary Beth, who is right under Cami, which who's better to kind of align yourself in this business with. And so... I'm just excited. I'm so excited, and I'm excited for tonight, and I'm really on this call to introduce one of my um, rock stars. One of my, I have several rock stars on my team, um, but one tonight that we're going to highlight is Karen. So Karen Scherzger, I'm sure, I know I mispronounced your last name, Karen, because I never say your last name, so you're going to have to, like, beat me over the head when you see me next time um, and say your last name um, for everyone, but... Karen um, is amazing, and I met Karen, oh gosh, it was December of uh, last year, so December of 2014, and I was doing just a holiday boutique um, at one of my friend's house. Um, she was, just had opened her house and was having a bunch of um, people in, and Karen, well, I was in the room, and I was just passing out samples of greens, and in comes Karen, never met her in my life, and I offered her a green sample, and she kind of looked at it and sort of skeptical at the time, and um, that was it. Then she walked away. She didn't sign up as a customer, but she <laughs> she said she was going to look into it. And I, I think it might have been that night or maybe the next night that I got a message from her, um, and she said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to order the green. And um, Karen will tell you her story. But something I certainly, I mean, this was I had never met her before in my life, but something that is truly amazing about her is that she has, she's an overcomer. She has overcome a major health challenge in her life, and I really hope that she shares her story with you. Um, but ultimately, 
she utilized our products, and these products changed her health. And because of that, she came to me. I, I kind of think it was in, okay, so that was December. It had to have been after the first of the year. Um, she came to me, and she said, I, I'm really thinking about joining your team. And she said, wait, you've got to watch out for me. I'm, I'm kind of quiet, but I'm, I'm serious. And I thought, well, okay, ha, 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 you know, whatever. It, she's stealthy. That's what I told Mary Beth today um, when I was messaging back and forth <laughs> to my desk. Is she it. is my stealthy distributor. She is silent but deadly. She is serious. Um, she is unexpected. And she is amazing. And um, I already mentioned that she's an overcomer. And so for that, she's hugely tenacious. And um, – She's had several health challenges, so she completely believes in the product. But something that's even more amazing about Karen that truly stands out to me is that she has – she's a leader. She's a true leader in every sense of the word. Um, she is all about one team, one mission, and bringing sidelines into this business and encouraging others, not just people on her team but her sidelines. And she is a leader to her sidelines. And if you haven't gotten a chance to rub shoulders with this girl, I highly recommend that you do. I love her honesty, her integrity, and I am just so privileged that I was in the right time and space to meet this girl because it was completely just, you know, at a boutique, you know, not, not someone that I had ever talked to before. But um, it's just a testament to me how you never know who is around the next corner in your business. You just never know. Here I was going about my business, doing my thing, and here comes this rock star runner leader, Karen. So with that being said, Karen, I hope you're on the call. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even have any words. How do you follow that? <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> well, oh, I knew hi. That, uh, I knew that um, Mary Beth, asked me if I wanted to interview Karen tonight, and I would love to, but I also know that Mary Beth is an amazing, I could say as much crazy, amazing things about Mary Beth as I can Karen, but Mary Beth is the rock star, the triple diamond, the um, interviewer extraordinaire, and I know that it means a lot to Karen <laughs> um, to, to kind of rub shoulders with, with Mary Beth. So I wanted, you know, Mary Beth to kind of take it away and ask you the important drilling question. <laughs> I can't wait. Thank you, Tara. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, Karen, thank you so much for being willing to jump on the call today. I know it's always, um, you know, kind of out of the comfort zone, usually for most of us when we first get asked to jump on and just share from our heart. And um, I would just like to say, too, it's been a privilege for me to get to know you a little bit. In my last few trips to Phoenix, I've really got to spend a lot of time with you and um, Karen, one of my favorite things about you is I asked you um, kind of what some of your goals were with the business and that you said that you want to be on stage. <laughs> and I absolutely loved it. I love, um, like Tara said, your tenacity and just your goal setting and stuff. So I'm, thank you so much for jumping on the call tonight. And um, I, I don't know if Tara said this or not, but you are newly promoted executive. I am. And very soon approaching Ruby as well. Yep, and not far behind. Some, what's that? Not far, behind. not far behind that. I love it. Well, I'm just so thinking excited for you. I love, um, you know, seeing your, your face light up as we sat and went through charting at Starbucks one day and you realized how simple it can actually be um, once you just set your mind to promoting in the business. And I just, I saw that light bulb go on for you and I can't wait to see what it's going to do for your business. But would you just kind of tell us how long you've been with the business um, and why you joined? Um, sure, I can do that. I uh, went Christmas shopping here where we live and it's true, I ran into Tara and uh, that was the best present I ever got was meeting her. Um, but I can't follow with all of that great, I, I don't even know what to say, like, God, Tara, thank you. That was amazing. But um, <laughs> I, I, so I'm a cancer survivor 10 years this year. I, I tend to run on, so feel free to stop me. 
but I took um, a lot of medication to be able to digest food. I lost that ability through radiation. And for eight years, I've looked for anything, something. I've had many doctors and naturopaths um, prescribe medication, and Karen and I have had many conversations about it. And, uh, big Pharma is for the masses, and it's not prescribed for a specific person. So a naturopath was the closest person that kind of honed in on it. But um, I was at points in my eight years taking upwards to 60 to 90 pills a day just to consume food. Like, wow. um, like a normal person, I guess. I, I hate to use that term, but that's the truth. <laughs> and uh, along came Tara with her little berry drink. And I tried it, and when I told her I was going to do my research, uh, she didn't think twice. And she had no idea that I was going to turn out to be somebody that sat at a computer and knew more about the company in two weeks than probably anybody. And I did that because I wanted something to work. I, so I gave her a chance. She said, just give it 90 days. So I gave it 90 days, and I did come to her, and... Uh, I said, you know what, uh, there's a lot of survivors out there. There's a lot of people going through treatment. And I know that it's not a miracle for everybody, but I don't take any more medication. Ah, and if there's anybody out there that didn't hear that, I don't take anything anymore. I take zero medication. I take my greens every day. And when I'm tired during the day, I take the chews. <laughs> That's it. That's all I take. And it's everything in moderation. I can't eat some foods like in mass quantities, but you shouldn't anyway. Uh, uh, but it's um, a miracle, for lack of better words. Uh, my I mom, love it. every yeah, every time she calls, she says, "Is it still working?" And I say, "Yes, mom, it's still working." <laughs> so I, I have I went from an LC to a distributor uh, February, I guess. Um, we switched, we made the switch because I said people got to know. They have to understand, Absolutely. they have to They have to realize that this company is more than a wrap, uh, that I need to get it in front of survivors, I need to get it in front of caregivers, I need to get it in front of everybody, to be honest. Oh, I love so my it. Son, yeah, my son and I do it every morning. We, uh, I call it our morning gratitude. He makes our greens, and he comes and sits alongside me on the bed, and we kind of toast with our greens to the day. So, uh, and, uh, that's that's a, amazing. That's simpl- yeah, that's a simplified form. And my dog likes it. I still haven't found out if, my, if it's bad for the dog. Oh, but I know dog- a lot of people who give it to their dogs, so I think you might, you might be all right. <laughs> you all right. know Karen, one of the things I, I love just in hearing Tara talk about you and you just sharing just for a minute is that, you know, you weren't like a quick recruit for Tara. You weren't somebody that she just ran into and, you know, you jumped on board with the business immediately or something like that. You were somebody who you took your time. You got to know the product. You saw some life change with the product. Um, you signed up for the business. And you have been getting your bearings even within your business, and now you've hit this momentum where you've just been taking off. You're building teams, um, you know, in Las Vegas and just kind of really branching out with your business. And I love to see that. That is, you know, very different from my story. I did not start as an LC. I jumped right in to the business. So, you know, you're going to meet people of all – some people you'll meet will will jump right into business. Some people you'll meet will – be an LC first, you know, get to know the product, all that kind of stuff. But it just, I think it's so encouraging for people, Karen, because, um, you know, sometimes we think that if we're not signing a a ton of distributors every month or whatever, that we're not, you know, being successful or we're not moving along. And that's just absolutely not true. And you're, you know, case in point, somebody that you took a little while to um, simmer, you know, you're like a crock pot <laughs> versus like a microwave with, in regard to the business. You came in, you took some time to get to know it, and now you're obviously doing some things so incredibly right, which is so neat to, to watch and to see. And I know that I'm feeding off of your energy in the business, and talking to you gets me excited all over again, like I'm a brand new distributor, and I love that. So would you just, um, would you share with us, Karen, just a tip, something right now that's working for you as you've actively built your business. What's working for you? 
Um, honestly, stepping out of my comfort zone, that's the biggest thing that has that I can say has come out of this. Um, I am not the talker. I am not the showman. I am not standing up in front of people and uh, be the Vanna White. That is not me. Uh, I am the quiet, sit in the back row and watch things happen. And uh, that is my tip. My Even if it's just your big toe outside the comfort zone, put it out there and you'll be very, very, very surprised at, at the, uh, it's not so bad. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I call it stretching my bubble because uh, I live in a bubble and so I stretch my bubble and right now my bubble is all the way over in Las Vegas, but that's okay too. And uh, it, my bubble stretches, you know, out. I'm okay with it now. I uh, wasn't before. I'm still very nervous talking. I'm still uh, kind of tongue-tied. And if there is one other thing that I can just say real quick is I am not a big blitzer. Um, and Tara can lend to that too, that I am not the one stopping people in the grocery store and in the fast food restaurants. That I don't do that. But believe me, when people walk up to me, I, um, I was at another home-based party and when I walked in the room, they all stopped and looked at me because I had my gear on. And on the kitchen table was the greens because the lady having the party was my loyal customer. So the party became about me. And that's how it should be all about me, but that's a motion. <laughs> um, um, so it was kind of a neat thing to see that, you know, I behaved as a guest and bought something, and but really what the party was about was me. And as soon as that party broke, they all wandered over to me and wanted to know more about the greens. So it was kind of cool. And I got a party in the LC out of it. Yay. Yeah. Well, that is amazing. And it's been really cool too, Karen, just to watch you um, as you're working with your team and just encouraging them, you know, and pushing them. But just the fact that you are, you're just really stepping out as a leader and it's really, really cool to see. It's cool to see you come out of that comfort zone too um, and just really push yourself. So I just thank you so much for the tip. I think that's a great one that all of us can be impacted by, and I just really appreciate it. You guys, I know you're going to be seeing tons more of Karen, so um, just okay. keep your eye out for her, and you guys give her a, a shout-out on the team page or, you know, private message her if you want to ask some more questions. But she is um, she's moving and shaking. So thank you so much, Karen, for being on thank the call you. tonight. Thank you for the yeah. words. Absolutely. All right. Can we move to Candace? Candace, can you hear me? I can. Yay. Yay. Okay, you guys, Candace is my sister-in-law, and she was the very first person that I started in the business um, that was in another state from me. Um, I, when I started the business, I thought to myself, the first people I'm going to contact are the people that I want to work with, that I want to hang out with, that I want to spend more time with, the people that are super fun. <laughs> and this is how I started my business. And so Candace was literally the first person that I emailed and shared my, about my business to. Um, and I flew out, I think it was two or three weeks after my first launch party. I flew from Phoenix to Atlanta um, to get Candace started because I knew that it was going to be a great investment in my business. I knew it was worth the risk, and boy, am I ever glad that I did. Um, we have had Aww. so much fun in this business. Um, so Candace has been in just about as long as I have too, so about three and a half years, and we have had countless um, adventures that we never would have had the chance to have without this business. Um, but also Candace has been very successful. She's a diamond in the business, um, pretty much pretty much charted for double diamond. So be watching for that promotion in the next couple of right. weeks or <laughs> months or so. Um, but she has just grown amazingly in this business. Um, she will tell you that, that she has really grown in her leadership and just done tons of awesome things. And so Candace, I'd love for you to just, um, just share with everybody maybe real quick why you joined. And then I'd love for you to introduce your guest tonight. Okay. Well, um, I joined because Mary Beth sent me a crazy email and was really excited about it. And um, 
I just I thought it was it was a spam actually. But um, besides the point, I <laughs> I gave her a call and and she just it was like this fire that was just burning inside of her, and I was like, ooh that sounds fun. Okay, maybe I'll do it. I'll try it for a month or so, you know, maybe get some pedicure money out of it. <laughs> and then I'll, you know, I'll call it a day because I don't sell things. I just, I don't, I, I don't do that thing. You know, this is what is going on in my mind. And so that's why I started just a little extra money. <laughs> but um, after that first launch party, after that first month, um, it just, it took on a life of its own. And boy, am I glad it did. <laughs> So um, that's just my my story in a nutshell. Um, I have Megan on the line. Megan, are you here? Hi. Yay. Okay, so um, Megan is a new Ruby. Woohoo! Uh, very recent. And she has been in the business. How long have you been in, Megan? Maybe four or five months? Um, I joined in March, so I think it's been about five months. Okay. Well, um, Megan, you know, we talk about all the time uh, writing people down that are on your chicken list, and we call it our chicken list because we're afraid um, of those people <laughs> and their reactions, <laughs> you know, that you're just, you're kind of scared. Um, that's why you call it a chicken list. Well, let's just say Megan and I have been friends for, well, as long as I've been in business, actually, about three and a half years, maybe about three years, and um, Megan was always on my chicken list. And she, the reason why is because she was literally my biggest skeptic of everyone I've ever met. She was my biggest. And she can tell you about that. But um, she, and it, it was not overnight, you know, it was three years of hearing me talk about it and just walking away. <laughs> but um, Megan, can you share why you joined the business? Uh, just a little bit about your story and um, and a tip. That would be fantastic. Oh, and where you're from. Okay. Um, well, I think that a big reason of why I joined the business was a lot to do with timing. Um, I worked a full-time job um, that was very stressful until um, December, late December of this past year. So once I got out of that job, I just really wanted to um, stay home with my kids focused on them. I miss staying home with them and spending more time with them. Um, fast forward about a month or two, and I got invited to yet another wrap party. And I kind of always weaseled my way out of those with my work schedule, which I didn't have anymore. So I got suckered into going. Um, I wrapped to support my friend Candace, who kept inviting me for years, and just really kind of tuned out from then on out. Um, didn't get immediate results, and then three days later was pretty blown away at my picture. <laughs> so I sent my before and after picture to two of my relatives um, just to show them that this thing actually worked. Can you believe it? And within 24 hours, um, they had all shown a bunch of people that they came in contact with that following Monday, and um, I think there were about 10 people um, just from those two text messages that wanted to be a client of Candace's, and I wanted to be a client. So that immediate um, and pretty easy <laughs> um, turnout was kind of what got my wheels turning. And I'm a very type A person. I'm very business-minded and a logical thinker most of the time. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm thinking, hey, here's 10 people plus myself that – or wanting to join on, this is a lot of money I'm about to hand over to my girl Candace. Maybe I need to look into this some more and see what this is all about. Um, and maybe this is something that I could help my husband, you know, supplement his income with a little bit while I am staying home so that we can still have some fun money to do, you know, running around with the kids or paying off some of our debt or going on vacations or whatever it is that we want to do. So, um, that's kind of what got me started, and I thought that I'd give it uh, one to three months is what I had kind of quietly promised myself, that I'd dive in. Um, you know, I'm kind of all or nothing, so I'm going to give it my all for a month, and I'll see where it goes. And if I don't do anything, then I can quit and tell Candace I told her so, but that never happens. 
Um, so <laughs> um, I've had pretty good success, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm meeting a lot of people and having a lot of fun with it. Um, one of my tips, I guess something that works for me, um, is I am a very outgoing person, um, and I'm a very social person. So I think something that I had a hard time with at first was um, kind of breaking into conversation of, you know, people that I, even people I knew well, how do I go about bringing up at works and trying to see if they're interested, but I don't want to come off as a sales pitch because it seems like everybody these days is selling something. I don't want them to, you know, have that eye roll moment and think, oh, great, now I have to avoid you too. So, um, I kind of avoided the conversation for a long time. I waited for people to come to me about it when they found out I was doing it, um, which now I realize is silly. So now something that I found that works really well and is so easy is just integrating it into my everyday conversations. Um, so if somebody – I'm always listening uh, for a chance to kind of um, – help somebody, and that to me is really what it's about. It's not about selling something, but it's about helping somebody with, um, you know, a frustration or an issue that they're having with their health or their beauty um, or whatnot. So whenever I hear somebody say something, whether it's a post on Facebook, like I just saw today, about somebody saying their husband's making all this great food and they're gaining weight and it's a problem, Um, or, you know, a problem with their daughter's Skin and she's going through these teenage years and breaking out or anything like that that has to do with a product that we have that can help them, that's when I kind of slide it into conversation um, just really quickly and really easily. And I let them take it from there. I don't push. I don't overcomplicate it. I just say, hey, I've got something really great that I found that can help with that if you're interested. And then I move the conversation on. And if they're interested and they want to know more, then I answer the questions that they ask but I really try hard not to just throw up all the information that I know on them um, and scare them away. Um, Something else that I do that is super easy with blitzing is sometimes it is nerve-wracking even for me, and I am very outgoing to go up to people I don't know and have this speech (laughs) and, you know, say, oh, you know, this is what I do and this is what it does and are you interested and, hey, let me have your phone number and, Sometimes that's fluid and easy, and sometimes that doesn't fit into a conversation at all. So um, something that I found that's easier to do is um, just handing out the blitz cards as a, as a thank you to people, um, which I know is a tip that's gone around a lot, but I'll even slide them into things that um, I'm meeting people for anyways. For example, we have a very big yard sale site here. I'm getting rid of tons of our – stuff going through and cleaning out closets and my little boy's clothes and every single bag that I meet somebody with that I hand them has one of my book cards and a green on the go sample. So it's just a way that I don't even have to say anything if I don't have time and it's a two second interaction, but it's a way that I'm still getting them home with my information um, and, you know, a website to our company and a little trial sample so they can see if they want to check it out, you know, then they can. And it's just really easy, simple way to get the word out there in our community. I love that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> one thing that y'all don't know about Megan is that she um, has built almost her entire organization um, not via parties. <laughs> a lot of it has been one-on-one. So if you ever have a question, you know, if you've, if you've been – really successful at parties and, and maybe one-on-ones, like speaking person to person, um, you start to get a little nerve-wracked. Um, I would contact Megan because she is definitely the queen of one-on-ones. She, she books them weeks in advance and just she does them all the time with her two precious little boys at home with her. So she is definitely a working mom and being very successful at it. So thanks for being on the call, Megan. I appreciate well, it. Well, thanks. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks for having me. You job. Thank you guys both so much. I so appreciate it. And, Megan, it was so fun with all of us. I got to go to Green Carpet just a couple months ago. We had a blast. And <laughs> yes. I'm really excited. I know. I'm really excited for you guys, and it's been so much fun to get a chance to work with you guys more now that we live in Georgia. So, yay. Thank you guys so much. Yay. 
Thank you. Yeah. Bye. All right. I want to bring on Tracy. Tracy, are you here? Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, there you are. Hello. Yeah, my phone was muted. I didn't know how to unmute it. Oh, no worries. Are you a uh, um, 989 number, Tracy? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. I muted a few people manually here because of the, the number mix-up tonight. Some people were called in on the moder- moderator line, and I just wanted to make sure there was no background. So if you're hearing this, if you don't need to do it through the phone system or anything. Just mute yourself on your own phone as you're listening just to help us with the background noise. That would be awesome. So I want to make sure I don't miss out on anybody that's supposed to be sharing with us tonight. So, okay, yay. I'm so glad you're here, Tracy. Okay, you guys, Tracy is um, somebody who came in on my team, and she is actually several levels down on my team. And um, I did not sign Tracy, but she has just popped up um, as somebody who is an extremely hard worker, um, a strong leader. I got a chance to spend some time with her and her team um, just a couple weeks back. Um, which was a whole lot of fun. Um, I guess it was in July, so I guess it was a month or so ago, but um, Southern California. And um, I just absolutely loved it. Tracy, I'm so excited uh, to see your business grow. And I actually had a conversation with Cami Dempsey today. For those of you who don't know, Cami Dempsey is my upline, and um, she is a top earner, and it works. And uh, her and I just had a conversation about you today, Tracy, and talking about how um, we just see you growing, um, you know, and taking this so far, and it's just been a long time since I've had somebody in my business um, be so independent and grow so independently, and it's always just so shocking. Like, you know, you wake up and somebody is doing all this growth and all this recruiting and all this leadership and doing a great job with their team, and you're like, wait a minute, I didn't even help you. Like, where did you come from? (laughs) And you're one of those people. So I am so excited that you're a part of this team, and um, I just can't wait for you to introduce your guest tonight, but just, you know, you, you talked, to, I think it was on our last call, and just, you know, congratulations again on hitting Diamond. What an amazing um, accomplishment for you, and thank you so much for being on the call. Can you still hear me? Uh-oh, did we lose you? Tracy, are you there? Hello. Mary Beth. <laughs> are you there? I keep getting muted. It keeps muting oh me. I'm not touching my phone, but it keeps staying muted. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I can hear you now. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if my guests will have the same problem. So, um I wanted to introduce someone on my team, Marissa, and actually she was the first person that I had joined my team from out of state. So um, ironic, but uh, I'm out here in California by myself, but my sponsor was in Michigan, so I did reach out to a lot of people in Michigan because I knew that I had an upline that would help them launch. So um, Marissa was the first person out of state that joined my team, and she really did a good job at staying connected with my upline to make sure that she could get all all bits of knowledge that she could to succeed quickly, and she did. Um, Marissa went Ruby and got a $1,000 Ruby bonus, and I wanted to bring her on because she actually has someone on her team going Ruby this month, as well as one that's very close to going Ruby. So she's about to have two Rubies underneath her, and that's very exciting for me. Yay, that is really exciting. Okay, Marissa, are you there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. So, Marissa, just tell tell us um, a little bit about how you've been able to stay plugged in and be successful with this, and then also um, something that's working for you. I think I've been able to stay plugged in because I love the products. I love what I do. Um, Also, something that really has helped me is believing in myself. You would notice, but I'm pretty shy when it comes to certain things. But um, when I joined in April... I had never done a party until 
last weekend by myself. So it was really nerve wracking, but I was like, I know I can do this. I've watched this a million times. And at that party, um, we had a distributor sign up and we booked two parties. Well, they're going to be in the same house, but two different people who want to become distributors um, and a, a loyal customer. And that really helped me because it's just, I connected with those people by my personal story. So not only did I choose to do this because I'm making money, but I, choose, I chose to do this because of friendships. It's fun. I love making new friends. And I just cannot believe how, how many people I know and how many people I can rely on to be there to talk to just because of this business. I love it. That is so great. Marissa, um, le- just give us – this is totally, like, not what I planned to ask you, but just kind of tell us, like, what are your next goals? I know that, um, you know, this business came up for you. Obviously, I, I hear you saying it's something you do for fun. That's a huge, huge piece of why I do the business, just connecting with people, getting the chance to um, spend time with people and get out of the house and just do tons of fun stuff. So what are, what are some of your upcoming goals and things that you want to do um, as you continue to build? Well, when I first joined, I saw money. So, and a month in, I figured, I was like, well, I guess it's really not all about the money. It's more about friendships. So my long-term goal for this is to be able to stay home with my daughter, who is 11 months old. It's been a hard time coming, going back to work full-time. So that is my goal, and to continue to help people. And that, you know, that is just the main thing is basically helping people. I love it. That is so awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on tonight. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, Tracy. I'm not sure if we lost you or not. Um, <laughs> we probably did. I know I don't see her on there. She may have, may have dropped it or something. That's crazy. So, But thank you so much, Marissa. I can't wait to um, get to spend some more time with you next time I'm in Michigan and do some parties together. And we are just watching to wait and see what you do next girl so thank you so much you're welcome all right i last but not least i want to bring on kathy tellez kathy can you hear me hello hello can you hear me I sure can. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. You can't hear me. I can hear you. How are you doing? What great tip. I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. We're you excited guys, to be on this call. Thank you. I'm excited you are on the call. Kathy is another person that I did not personally enroll, but she is my adopted distributor, and I just was blessed. Um, to sign somebody up that ended up knowing Kathy and signing Kathy up. And um, Kathy's upline is not in the business anymore. But um, Kathy, I just know it was ordained by God. Kathy, we've talked about this so many times, but that you and I were supposed to meet. We were supposed to connect um, in the way that we did. And this business has been life-changing, and this friendship has been life-changing for both of us. Um, But you guys, I know you guys have seen Kathy active on the page. Um, She has just come in with a ton of leadership experience and expertise in the area of people and um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, But she has also seen some great success in the business. She is um, a diamond with us, really very close to double diamond. Um, And her and her husband, Paulo, are just so committed, so all in with their businesses. And I cannot wait to hear from you tonight, Kathy, and also from your guests. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I, I wanted to um, kind of just because we were talking about tips and everything that everyone shared is just phenomenal. I, I love hearing it, especially from the new guys. Um, they're coming in. It actually inspires me to just, you know, kind of look at my business from a new perspective, um, being in the business now for two years. Sometimes it can be a little bit ho-hum. You know, you're doing the same thing. You're going out there, blitzing. Um, and, you know, just hearing it from all of the, 
the people that were that spoke tonight was just it's it's very inspiring. So thank you very much, everybody, for sharing your guys' story. Um, I do want to share one tip, and I and this speaks loudly to me, and I, I really want to share this to everyone who's been in the business, whether um, three and a half years or you've been in the business for um, two months. Um, one of the, you know, I, when I joined in, one of the things that I remember Mary Beth talked about was writing down the goals and talking about writing down what your why is. And um, for the longest time, I never did it. I mean, I kind of, I knew, I, you know, just like what many of us um, had said, you know, I, I came in to make extra money or that, that money. I mean, I came in you know, making this extra money, and I'm thinking, wow, this is another opportunity to um, to get some money off to the side so I can go on vacation. I was working a full-time job um, over 60 hours a week, and, um, and all, obviously we wanted to be healthier as well. But the money was a huge aspect of it. But, you know, over time it changed, and um, – I today, I write down my goals, and, and if you haven't done that, and that's really, I think, one of the tips that I want to share with you before I, I introduce my guests, um, is write down those goals, make it visible, make it where it is um, some outside of your comfort zone, yet um, something for you to actually stretch yourself beyond your own, I guess, capacity. Um, take that time to develop yourself. And, and I know Tara and, and I, we're, we're here in Phoenix, we, we're such big proponents of um, doing self-development. Um, and so take the time to maybe read a book or, um, you know, listen to some, some things where um, I know that, um, you know, I, I listen to um, um, the audiobooks a lot. And um, sometimes I just going, you know, just sitting down in a quiet space and, you know, reading something that will inspire me um, to get me out of my funk for the day or whatever and get me focused. And so writing down those goals and, and putting out there um, where it's visible for you um, on a daily basis, remembering why you joined the business in the first place, and, and, and um taking the time to self-develop yourself. So anyway, that's my tip. I just wanted to share that. And, and now two years in, um, I understand why, because this business will test you, <laughs> as it has me. <laughs> uh, but I've got to tell you, it, it has been um, one of the most fulfilling things that I've done in, in my life. And to be able mm. to be home with my daughter and to be able to cook and um, be with her, it it is um, a blessing, it is. We got a baby. We got a baby, it's okay. Um, I guess. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I I wanted to introduce my guest. Uh, my guest is Michelle. Um, she's what, actually she's, um, also down in way deep a little bit into my organization. Um, but Michelle and I, uh, we knew each other from grade school um, back in Honolulu, Hawaii. We're, we're both from Hawaii. And actually, I think her cousin is one of my very good friends. I, it's, it's just the funniest thing how we connected. We connected through Facebook, that's for sure. Um, but Michelle was one of my loyal customers for over a year. Michelle, are you on? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, can everybody hear I me? Can. Okay. Yeah. Hi, yes. everybody. Hi. Hi. Were you a loyal customer with me for over over a year? I know that for sure. Yes. I think about like 14 months maybe. <laughs> so, 14 months and like three days, two hours. <laughs> so tell us what made you change your mind from being a loyal customer and, you know, what made you change your mind to become a distributor? Well, I really love the product. Um, you know, to be honest with you, like it took a while for me to actually use the product after I got them um, delivered to my house. And so they were in the box and then I finally 
tried everything, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so, everything's just so awesome. Um, I love the greens, the profit, just everything. And um, to make a long story short, you know, like the products really did change my life. Um, I had a problem with just like want, like losing weight, just even heading to the gym. I had a gym membership for a year, and I only went like three times because I was always hesitant, just like, I just felt bad just being away from home, away from my kids, away from all the things that I need to get done. And um, and the breaking point was when people thought I was pregnant, even though I gave birth to my second child like two years prior. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my gosh. You know, like people are like posting on Facebook, like, oh, are you pregnant? Like there was a picture with, you know, with me and my husband, and my tummy was protruding a little bit. And, um, you know, people were asking if I was, my own mom thought I was pregnant. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. And and one of the things that um, I was, you know, that kept me from working out in my tummy area was that every time when I would do that, my lower back would hurt because I have mild scoliosis. And I never mm-hmm. went to physical therapy for it. And um, And so... It would hurt, and it would discourage me from just working out that area. And, um, you know, like, my arms and legs were just, just didn't seem proportional. <laughs> and uh, and so when I found out about the wrap, I'm like, I got to try this, got to do it, and um, I did it. It wasn't consistent in the beginning, but once I got the, um, the gist of things and got a rhythm going, I was consistent and I got the results I wanted and you know and um, also my kids at the same time they're like oh mom I want to take this class I want to take that class my friends are taking such and such class I'm like I'm sorry I don't have you know extra money for all those things that you guys want to do and you know I just felt really sad and I remember seeing all kinds of like fun exciting posts from Kathy's page and I was like you know let me just call Kathy and, and I know Kathy has asked me before too like you know to become a distributor but I was hesitant you know but then um, I was able to actually um, get into the business and um, got on board and um, ever since then you know like I've been trying to um, work my business in the beginning of course I was shy I've always been shy just like even confronting people or asking people questions and um, and it's my life is just different now. It, like, even my family just has seen me in a different way, you know, like just my way of thinking and how I feel and, you know, how I present myself. And I love it. No, yeah. I, I love that. I do. I love that. Um, you you joined in as a distributor which month? Um, it was uh, April. In April. And so far, you have two distributors. You're building your team, and you're so close to executive, and you're doing this all on your own in California um, while I'm here in in Phoenix. I know we got to see each other when I was there um, a few weeks ago, but, um, you know, you're you're really going out there, and you're, you're doing things on your own. So tell us what... What what's a tip that you could share with everybody um, that you know that's you know join the business and um, or what's working well for you, knowing that there uh, there isn't I I'm not there really <laughs> physically. Um, I would have to share the tip that you um, told me that to be consistent um, and to be consistently. Just creative and fun and positive with your posts because you never know who's watching. I've had people, like my friends would um, PM me and say like, oh, you know, like I know I haven't been liking your posts, but, you know, like I, I do see your posts and I'm interested, you know, or I see them at parties, you know, like people who never like my posts, but they would tell me like, oh, tell me about the wraps or, you know, tell me about your business. But you never know who's watching. And one of the things that I noticed recently is that when I liked my own post, and I never liked my own post, um, and I actually liked my, one of my old posts that I posted, I think, a couple of, like several weeks ago, and then more people started liking it because I guess 
when you like your post or like any post, it shows up in the news feed mm-hmm. that you like mm-hmm. the post. And it would come up again. And so more people started liking that post, even though it's an old one, because it I love back. I know and it's so true. I, like recently I uh, have been unliking and then liking my post. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> it's okay to like your own post, I swear. <laughs> it's the algorithms. I think John Eric, um, he he's talked about that as well. Um, for anyone who um, has, you know, they haven't done that hundred day adventure. He talks about that pretty um, extensively about how we use Facebook and the algorithms, and um, you know, obviously not to post just you know before and after pictures, but. Um, showing, um, you know, a fun lifestyle, being, part, you know, inviting people into your adventure. So, and, and you absolutely do that consistently every day. Um, I love that. That That is great. I, I see you becoming an executive here very, very soon. I'm very excited for you. Um, did you want to share anything else? Um, that's pretty much it for, I mean, like I, I can go on and on, but, um, you know, that's the major thing. Just being consistent um, is key, like what you told me, and it's so true. Because I just got um, a private message right now from a friend who hardly ever likes my post. But if she's been t- uh, actually PMing me as I speak. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's great. Awesome. Thank you so much for, for coming on the call, Michelle. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, thank you for inviting me on the call as well, you know, and um, just for being there for me. Um, you know, I, I'm truly appreciative of, you know, the time you spent with me so far, and you've been an inspiration, Kathy. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, thank you guys so much, Michelle. It's good to hear your voice and not just see you on Facebook. It's so cool. Oh, thank you, Mary Beth. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing and everybody who shared tonight. I know there were some great tips. It's good to hear from some just fresh new people that maybe we haven't heard from before. And I encourage you guys, I'm going to put a post up right now on Immeasurably More on our team page, and I'm just going to ask for comments. Everybody who's on this call tonight, if you would just please share one thought that you came away with, something you're going to try, whether it's a tip or a shout out, or if you just want to thank some of the people that were on the call tonight, I know they would really appreciate hearing um, what impacted you and what you're going to take away to help to build your business. So thank you guys so much for being on the call tonight. And I have this recorded, so we will have it. You'll be able to share it. And we just had some awesome tips from some great rock stars. Hope you guys have a great night. Let's finish August as strong as we possibly can. Um, We've still got several days left here with the double cruise points and so many exciting things going on. You guys know we have only until the end of August um, for people to sign up and be eligible for that $500 Ruby bonus as well. So now is the time to take advantage of that. I know what I'm going to be doing from now until the rest of the month is following up again with people who have been interested in this business because we have a great opportunity for them. So Let's get after it, guys. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you.